So uh, for this Blender video, we're going to show you how to reset or change the location of the cursor, this little red and white uh, thing right here. So let me show you by uh, trying to build this out, the powering the outer ring. So one thing we can do is here. All right. So let's say um, shift A, right? we can add a cylinder. And so where that cylinder shows up is the location of the cursor. So it'll be right there. But let's say um, we don't want the cylinder to show up right there. We, for some odd reason, accidentally clicked it here and it wants to show up there or it shows up there because we accidentally clicked it there. So we press Shift A again, mesh, cylinder, and it'll show up there and then so now we're down here and it shouldn't be down here we want our cursor to be over here in the center of the world so we would just press shift s to put the cursor origin of the world no oh, shift s see and you go back and it's it's really that simple um you might want to change the cursor itself sometimes just to instantiate or you know make the meshes or whatever uh show up there instead that way you can like separate them easier that way they're not overlap like let's say we instantiate this triangle uh and then we want to instantiate something else but not on top of each other but we didn't change the cursor it'll just show up on top of each other like that so yeah that's why it's it's a good thing to know how to uh change the cursor so shift s uh, origin. All right. Uh, another thing is like, let's say you, you, you do want to change the cursor to an object, uh, especially the active one, and then like put something on top of it or put it where it is and then change it. So let's say this is the active. We selected it, right? We would then press shift S and then cursor to active and it would change the cursor to the middle of it and then we would just need to add uh, another object cube and then just shift it up uh, and there you have it yeah it, it's a simple stat so cursor to origin all right so let's build out that um what do you call it this right here uh this power ring so all we would need to do is shift a cylinder we're doing it with a uh, triangle fan so there's some symmetry i mean so there's like some faces and stuff here in the top uh let's see rotate we only need eight faces all right i think it's 90 yeah all right and then that's it all right so now we're building this like we've pretty much already covered uh the cursor so if you just want to skip this like go ahead uh we're we're building this as part of like other parts of the videos that we're going to build so then press three s and try to get it as best you can. Oh, so that you can actually see better, put the, uh, the what do you call it, the see-through right here, right? There, all right, and then S, X, because you wanna make it, As X, because you want to make it a little thinner on the X, and that's it. See, now you kind of built your outer outer ring a little bit, and you've seen some of the cursor stuff. So I uh, hope that helps. In the next video, we're gonna manipulate this a little more, um, and show you how you know how to do quite a few different things. All right, till next time.